looking go? So this here is the new Windows Phone 7 series, and um, we have the ability to be able to um, customize your start screen. So the way we built the phone is sort of based on two fundamental um, core uh, tenants that we have. One is around smart design. We wanted to make the phone uh, give you the ability to be able to sort of customize your phone and do things in sort of an intelligent way. So when you think about smart design, you think about, um, say, when you jump into Outlook, you would expect that Outlook allows you the ability to be able to read mail and do various things, but we've kind of taken it one step further. We're here, imagine driving down the freeway 60 miles an hour, and I do not do that, reading my mail, but imagine <laughs> if you will. You know, you're on your phone, and so we designed the phone in a way that's easy for you to not only um, check out your mail and respond and do all that stuff, but easily with just a flip, be able to go and see, there I actually saw all of my unread email, and then um, I can flip across and I can see just all of my flagged email. So there's email that either they've flagged or I've gone in and flagged. And then it shows, and this one is the most stressful, it actually shows my urgent email. So it flips across and um, we'll show you urgent email as well. So I get tons of urgent email. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I'm sure you guys are the same way. So that's email. The other thing that's sort of smart is when we think about how we've designed the phone, we've designed it be, um, in a way that um, there's these integrated experiences, and so people want to be able to connect with people. They don't, they don't necessarily want to be able to connect with people um, through SMS or through phone or through like a, a standard way. They want to be able to connect with people in the way that those people want them to connect with. So here what I have is I have, these are all the recent people that I've connected with, and then these are all of the people that I have in my contact list from Facebook or Exchange or Windows Live. And then I'll scroll across again, and it shows all of what's new with my network for Facebook and Windows Live and Exchange, so anything that's that's new. And so you see that sort of a, a, a smart design where you can go in and see, just with at a glance, what's new across your entire social network. And again, it provides you the ability to communicate with these people in the context that they want to be communicated with, not necessarily the way that you're enforcing on them. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to show the pictures experience. So this is one of my favorites, because if you think about it, um, pictures is 80% of people that have, 80% um, 80, 80 of the U.S. population today has digital cameras. Um, there's 1.4 million pictures that are taken every minute, and half of them are taken from phones like this, from camera phones like this. And so what we wanted to do is we wanted to make it super easy for um, the picture, for the users to be able to do the things that they wanted to do. So people want to share their pictures, um, they want to email their pictures, plus they want to be able to consume their pictures online. So you see here, I have the ability to see what's new across my whole network, again, just as it relates to pictures. Then I'll flip across and I can see all of my pictures. So this shows, and when you think all of your pictures, you might just think they're the pictures that are on your phone. This here is the pictures that are the ones that I've taken from my camera roll, like just with my camera. The ones that are I've pulled down from the web, um, the ones where I've synced across from the Zune software, and then also pictures from Windows Live and Facebook. So this here at the very top, subtly it says, oh yeah, these are pictures from Windows Live. And what I'm going to do is when I click on this picture, um, you're going to see a very unfortunate event with my daughter where, uh, oh, hang on, I pressed the search button accidentally. So um, back maybe three or four years ago. in there, right? Yeah. So you can see the cheekbone pressing through the tongue, just the nastiest <laughs> thing. Anyway, but that's down from the web, right? It's streaming that down from the web. So it's a very straightforward experience. And so from a photos perspective, we again wanted to streamline that whole thing. Um, then if you've seen or heard of the Zoom, here what we have is we have uh, essentially a Zoom HD right on the phone. So it allows you to stream anything you can, anything that has a play button. So um, your music, your videos, your podcasts, your video podcasts, movies that I've made in Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, you can scroll across and it shows stuff that I've played recently. Um, and again, I got Lady Gaga in the background because I just played her. I've also got the ability to play podcasts. So I've got um, a video podcast. This here is uh, a CNN podcast that I just synced across today. It automatically syncs across. And when you talk about sync, one of the things that's really cool about this device is it has wireless sync um, from the PC to the phone. So not only will it actually sync all of these um, podcasts uh, automatically now when I go to my in my house, it will also sync those pictures that I took directly back to the PC. So I don't have to worry about plugging in my phone any longer. My phone, the pictures automatically come from the phone uh, to the PC and content goes from the PC to the phone. So what we're trying to do is just make it super easy and this content just uh, streamed across, very straightforward. Is that via Active Sync? No, it's I actually mean? through the Zune experience. Okay. So we have a Zune experience as a client um, on the PC now. Okay. And so that's where you get. All, that's where I got all those podcasts and all of that music and stuff um, to be able to to be able to play it.
So yeah, no longer are we going to have to um, do the active sync stuff. We also have the full gaming experience. So for those people that are interested in um, gaming on the phone, we have a whole host of activities that you can do in terms of playing. I don't have any games installed yet, but you can go and, and get your avatar and your gaming points as well. And then you can also, there will be another tile over on the side after I've played some games with people that show me when it's my turn to play. So there's turn by turn playing and you can play, you know, be a phone to phone, maybe phone to web, that kind of stuff. So we're sorting that stuff out right now. Um, we also have, you see here, I've pinned some people to the start screen, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to find my wife, um, because one of the things that I like is the ability to be able to customize the phone, and so I scroll across, actually she's in my recent because I just called her, and so I'm going to take her and pin her to the start, and then it shows me how it actually puts her on the start, but of course I want to put her up at the top, or else I'd be in trouble. Right. So. I take her and I drag her up to the top. And then um, you can also see I've got these other folks, Renee, that's my own tile. So when I want to update my PSM, um, I can just click on my own tile there as well. So again, a very, oh, and she just updated her PSM so it flipped over as well. Yeah. I've been talking a lot. Do you guys have questions? Um, a little bit on the specs, the internal, the hardware. So we, uh, in general, um, there's a chassis spec, and so there's a whole, there's a 280-page document. Um, there's a couple of things that I'll kind of rattle off. The screen is going to be 480 by 800. Um, they can choose whether it's, you know, OLED or not. Um, the camera will be 5 megapixel. It'll have a flash. Um, so, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they can choose, but we have a chassis spec just to make sure. Um, because in the past, the challenge that we had is, you know, the hard, people could do whatever kind of hardware they wanted with 6.5, and so we, sometimes we had an issue with that. In this case, we wanted to have a super high bar so that we have great hardware from a partner perspective to be able to build these experiences that you see here today. And so, yeah, without going in, there's a whole bunch of detail behind the chassis spec, but uh, it's going to have, you know, great uh, antennas, a great screen, capacitive touch. Um, they can choose to have a, heart, a keyboard or not. Um, so this one here doesn't have a keyboard. They will all have... Um, they will all have uh, these three buttons at the bottom. So there's a back, uh, a Windows, and a search key. And then I didn't show the search, but the search does search in a few different ways. It does location-based search. Let's see if it knows I'm in Chicago yet. So if it does, it'll show Chicago right there. Okay. So I hadn't tested that yet. I just landed about a half an hour. Okay. So anyways, then when I go and I type in, what's going on in Chicago right now? What's something that's a local Chicago thing? Uh, what is this? This season? I'm not really sure. Oh. All right. Let's let's search for pizza. So, not Pizza Hut, and we'll see. It'll probably actually bring up. Um, actually, I'm not sure. So it actually brings up local. So this is pretty cool. So I'm going to go to. I might have pizza. I haven't had dinner yet. So it brings up pizza, and then I say I want to get directions from my location. This is cool. I use this all the time because I get so lost even in Redmond. So you clearly I haven't run this yet, and so I want to find. Giordano's? George. Yeah, Giordano. that's a nice that's a nice piece of place. Deep All right. dish. Deep dish. And it shows you how to get there just with a few clicks. And so the thing that's really cool about that, the mapping is one thing that's kind of cool. But the thing that's really cool about is that about that is that it knew where I was and it knew, hey, this guy actually wants pizza. It's in Chicago, he knows it, and so it serves up those results, not just like Wikipedia pizza articles. Okay. And it should be showing the the map here any second. Taken. Oh yeah, I don't have very much. It might be the connectivity anyway. Anyways, the map will show up in a little bit. And when you're in the map, you can actually zoom in. And then it'll start to show the building. So it uses the same Bing technology where you can actually zoom in, see the buildings at eye level. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah,